Hey YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new here, well howdy, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. You already know what the deal is. So I know I've been uploading videos as fast as I can and putting them up there and I have disappeared for a couple of days and I apologize about that to the people who even noticed. Um, but uh, I have been really sick and I've been in the bed. I could not even leave my home. That's how sick I was. So I just wanted to go ahead and say I appreciate you guys for sticking around and waiting until I felt better. I could not wait to get back to you guys. I missed you all so, so very much also guys the goal is still to make it to a thousand subscribers we are almost there you guys are amazing even with me not posting for a few days like you guys have been doing y'all's darn thing so thank you for all of the love and support and again i cannot do this without you guys also if i sound like uh elmo it's because I, i've been sick so this video is going to dive very deeply into the more disgusting side of tiktok i know that i have a video up that is uh pressing the limits but for me this is pressing a little bit further how can anything get any further than penny crisp i have no idea um you might be thinking but i do have an idea okay I have an idea and I'm about to show y'all. This video has some clips that I'm going to be including that are very extremely, very, extremely, very, extremely hard to watch. And before I put it up on the screen, of course, I will give you guys warning signs and let you know that I'm, it, it's about to go down. While I was in my deathbed, y'all, I came across two things that almost tucked me in and kissed me on my forehead goodnight for eternal darkness, and we wasn't going to come back from this. Wife cells have always had, like, these weird remedies, like, from you spitting on your broom if it sweeps you off your feet because you'll never find love again, or to putting your monthly time into spaghetti to make the lover never leave you. And I know these have been told over and over and over and over again, like the phone, the, the game telephone. So I, it might not be verbatim. It might be verbatim for my family, but your family has probably heard it different and that's okay. We mean the same thing. So y'all gotta keep up because I'm not spilling the tea just yet. Kiki Palmer is pregnant. If you didn't know, well, girl, where have you been? Even I know this and I've been sick and she's been pregnant for like months now. So come on. Um, this beautiful actor, singer, she is open about the acne that she has on her face. And she says since since she's been pregnant, the baby has been helping her clear up her skin and blah, blah, blah. All of that good stuff. Another celebrity's baby mama, I hate that word, but ba the mother of the child came out and was like, girl, when the baby comes out, use their pee diapers and wipe it over your face because that will help you get rid of your acne in like two days or something like that now I've, I've heard of this before and you'd never catch me doing this but i've heard of it before and i can understand the concept because children babies let's say babies babies aren't eating all of the nasty stuff that we're eating at those young ages so that's how i can see and understand what's going on and how you would think that it's okay to put that on your face but neither here nor there it is still toxic oasis <laughs> And if it's not, then I'm going to treat it like it is. But guys, I bring up all of this stuff to say, this TikToker, Embodied Soul, takes all of this stuff that I just said above and all the way beyond. Her facials is everything that the movie series Halloween wish that they can be when it comes to gore. And all of the ingredients in the facial is very homemade, personal made. And no, we're not talking about from her boyfriend. She makes this herself. Remember when I told you guys that I was going to warn you, this is the warning now. If you have a weak stomach, if you don't like blood, if you don't like any of that stuff, please do not look at this. You can skip. I'll have the time somewhere up here where you can skip and it's over with. But if you cannot handle blood, I'll find you in another video. If you can handle the talk, that's what we're going to be talking about. So just fair warning. Let's get into the video. Today, we are doing menstrual blood face masks. That's the part of the video that people are going to stitch and be like, Ugh, bring it on. 
I finished bleeding about like a week, a little over a week ago. So um, I wouldn't normally use my older blood. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just prefer like freshies. But since sometimes my cycle takes like 36 to 40 days, um, a lot of you guys are gonna be bleeding between that time and I um, wanna give the information. So, because this is like over a week old, it is beginning to smell a little less fresh. Now, I will do a whole other video, if requested, um, about like what healthy blood is because there's a lot of questions on that. So, but I'm just gonna get right into it. You can use a brush, a makeup brush, a paintbrush, if you don't wanna touch it, but also if it's going on your face, like it can go on your fingers. That's my thing. So I will take the blood, literally scoop it up. Hey, put it on my face. This is on the internet. You can put it on a couple little spots. You could do a little spot treatment or you can do the whole thing. Question I will probably be getting is how long do I leave it on for? Honestly, it's not like it's gonna dry you out and it's not like it's gonna make you super oily. So you could leave it on, I would imagine, um, for like pff, an hour too. If you're curious to do this and you want to do this, comment a blood emoji and a butterfly emoji. And um, if you're not into it and you think this is fucking crazy, then you don't gotta say anything. <laughs> Something else to add. When it comes to this, you could straight up just like, it's just so badass and primal, I fucking love it. You can just reach in to your kitty and take it out and literally scoop it whoosh, like war paint that's so fucking cool so this tiktoker's content is basically structured all around stuff like that very intimate stuff say said she uploaded a video and then took it down but it's still there of how she puts it in her plants to water her plants uh it's kind of weird um and she explains why she took it down but it's still there take a look at this okay i'm back i'm gonna show you my plants because everybody's like show me the plants because everybody needs proof that menstrual blood can um really help your plants grow before i do that though just like see the part in you or whomever that needs proof because just see that one but i'll give you proof as much as i can i'll give you the proof if i can but just all right, so it's like 7 p.m. right now. Um, I'm only getting around to do this now, so the lighting's not great. And also, I don't have any before pictures because I wasn't looking to like prove it to like thousands of people on the internet that like my plants could grow. But I'll show you where they're at now and I'll give you a little, a little like... All right, this homie right here. I think it's a corn plant or something like that. It, this thing, the second one, like would only have um, like a few of these and they were so dead and um and now i've been sprouting new ones like so much um kind of yeah so but it's old but that's one another one is this sick ass swiss cheese plant i think that's what they're called if they're not that's what i've been calling them because it's fun this was outside and it only had i think like this one and maybe like this one an older one and now it has like how many fucking leaves yeah this one's pretty crazy but i also was using like nor like fish fish um <laughs> you know what's crazy to me this reminds me of that episode of steven universe where he had those watermelon seeds in his mouth and he like spit them all out on the 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 ground and like these watermelon stevens came up and they could like talk and like will kind of talk and like move around and they look like steven but of course but of course in this instant it wouldn't be that cute her plants come alive and then they start spitting out this flesh eating yellow acid oh yellow because red for blood and green for plants well, she has blessed us with showing us how in many ways that we can collect this and actually use it so of course i have the video check it out Okay, so I don't have a ring light or any of that fancy shit. I just have tangled headphones. So I hope you can hear me okay. It's, uh, there's a fan in my bathroom. But I'm gonna tell you how I uh, collect my menstrual blood. The first thing is that on day one, I usually wear a cup for part of the day. I'm finding now that my body doesn't really like it. So I'll wear it to collect like a good amount of blood because it's, to me, it's the easiest way. The other things that I'll do is I will um, wear reusable pads or you can like, you know, period underwear or whatever. Um, and then sometimes if I'm like really ballsy or don't give a fuck about my clothes, I'll just like bleed through them because it doesn't matter to me. And then I'll um, rinse them out in a, um, like a, a, you know, a bowl of water and then I will save that water. 
But if you're just looking to get the straight up menstrual blood without any water, um, another way to do it is, oh, hang on. Here, this is um, a little jar. I will, I will uh, put, I will literally, how do I do this? Hang on. This is so funny. Um, I'm wearing my man's boxers. <laughs> I will take this thing and this is my pee pee and I will literally scoop it out using the, using the lip, using the lip. So sorry, this is so insane. Using the lip of the jar, I will like kind of feel when the blood is going to um, come out and I will scoop it out and, um, it'll like be on the lip of the jar. It's really not that much. Like when you see all your blood in the jar, you're like, that's it. and that's it. I hate that the vi the I hate that the camera was so close to the jar. Like every time it would drop, I would like jump or like move out of the way like it was really going to touch my top lip. That like that was a very real fear of mine that like this 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 jar was going to fall through my phone and touch my mouth. You only get one mouth in this life. Um, and I don't want it to be on the lip of the jar that you, you know, and it's very cloudy too. It's, have you watched, have you watched it? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm healing right now and I don't want to, okay. Thank you for understanding. It is your body. It's your plants. It's whatever else you use it for. It's your stuff. And if you like it. Oh, you were waiting for me to say then I love it like the saying the saying that goes if you like it I love it well I, I don't love it but if you like it then good for you sis you you do what you gotta do sometimes get creative but over there do that over there go ahead and wash your hands let's go get something to eat cuz we not eating here cuz I don't trust nothing in your garden at all you're not gonna trap me Mm -mm. I feel like those cult TV shows that they have on Netflix, I feel like there might be one in the making that she's going to come out with and we have no idea until one day it just pops up in like 2026 saying the girl from TikTok, what all the, 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 the minis, cause you know, menstrual, the minis cult or something like that. I don't know. They should put me in it. They should, like, make me the director or something because, like, I, it's my idea. And I feel like I could direct it really good. Anyways, guys, thank you again for checking out another one of my YouTube videos. Sorry I left you guys for so long for the ones who did notice. And even for the ones that didn't notice and you just noticed when you got a notification for this video. So, again, I was sick. I'm back. And let's make it to a thousand subscribers. We're so close. You guys are amazing. Thank you for everything. And I just want to end this saying, guess who loves you the most? It is I. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. Bye.